Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you this game's with their time and bandwidth. Today's game is God of War 3. Kratos will have his revenge against God, Titan, and probably his server at Applebee's for not topping off his martini. Is this final mainline God of War game worth playing today? God of War 3 originally released on PlayStation 3, and then they released a remaster on PS4, and that remaster is available if you have a PlayStation Plus premium subscription. If you do not, it will cost you $20, and the game is about 9 to 10 hours long. So what exactly is God of War 3? Well, it's the final game in the original God of War trilogy and chronologically the last game before the reboot. Similar to the previous games, there's a third person action experience with fixed camera angles, great feeling combat, and tons of ridiculous set pieces. Kratos is pissed, big surprise, with the game picking off exactly after the massive cliffhanger at the end of God of War 2, where he and the Titans are assaulting Olympus. Of course, you can't just go and win the first five minutes of the game, so things go awry and Kratos is now pissed against gods and Titans, so he's gonna just kill everybody on his way to the top just to be sure. The story here is probably the weakest in the whole series in my opinion opinion, as Kratos isn't really even a character anymore, and the whole plot focuses around finding the MacGuffin from the first game, just on fire now, with the story's highlights being Kratos' interactions with the various gods and titans before he murders them. And murder them you shall across a ton of crazy set pieces. The set pieces are the biggest and craziest in the series, with Kratos bouncing between Olympus and Hades like there is vacation homes, and the brutal executions ramping up more and more as the game progresses. Combat is the same as the previous games with two big twists. The first being they finally figured out what to do with the L1 plus circle combo, as Kratos will now grab enemies and and launch himself to them, providing an excellent gap closer and allowing combat to flow more smoothly. I know that's weird to highlight a single move, but it really does improve the game significantly. The other big change is sub weapons, which no longer use magic but a recharging strength meter that has its own upgrades, meaning you'll always have a ranged option should you need it, as well as a flashlight, which can stun, running shoes, which can also stun, and so on. It's a smart addition and allows for more ranged combat diversity since it no longer is reliant on magic. In addition to that, they have refined the combat down to a sheen. While Kratos' combos haven't significantly changed, QTEs are a lot easier now. Kratos climbs, slides, and does everything faster. Bosses should definitely be mentioned as they are the highlight of the game, with most being over the top, as well as having additional stages requiring different strategies to complete. It's really funny to me how God of War 1 only had two real bosses, and this one just has a bajillion, and they're all great. So God of War 3 is the culmination of Kratos' murder story, with it being the biggest game in the terms of bombasticness, full of excellent combat refinements, and by far the goriest and bloodiest of them all. So what do I like about God of War 3? Well, the combat feels like the ultimate evolution of the God of War kit, with the distant closing enemy grab really pulling it all together, pun intended. This game is really fun to play. On that note, the game's pacing is also pretty much perfect. All these games have had really great pacing, to be frank, but this one might be the best one of all. And this game looks incredible. I have no clue how this game ran on the PS3 without everybody's systems exploding, but even now on the PS4 remaster, it looks good enough to be a modern game, no joke. Absolutely insane graphics and artistic direction here. When it comes to the bad, I'm going to be fully transparent, I hate this game's story. The whole yet another MacGuffin is so stupid it feels like comedy, and Kratos just kind of gets told what to do the whole game. And speaking of Kratos, I feel they went too far with him in this game, turning him from an anti-hero to a villain. I get that it's a Greek tragedy, fall from grace thing, but he's never punished for his decisions. Here he's just kind of a huge asshole, solidified by the now infamous Poseidon priestess scene, and trying to rehabilitate him with Pandora just doesn't work. And lastly, it still has that God of War problem of any weapon besides the default chainsaws feeling unnecessary. At least the fists have actual puzzle and combat usage, but the other two are just kind of, yeah, whatever. As you know, our game's here on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, don't bother. I do think God of War 3 is a must play. It does so much right. And while I will admit my hangups on the story are probably a personal thing, I do feel a bit vindicated because they definitely tried to rehabilitate the character in the reboot. But I can easily set the story aside and just love this game's combat set pieces and phenomenal visuals in scale. God of War is a hell of a bloodbath, so you should probably get out there and carve up a pantheon. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think of God of War 3? What do you think of its story, its combat? Please let me know in the comments, but regardless, make sure you go out there and give it a play.